Hey guys, Benoit here and welcome to Tactical Fellowship. Go ahead and hit that like button if you know adding a grip weight is going to make you a better shooter and why not subscribe if you know there is no amount of grip weight that's actually going to make you a better shooter. All right, let's get to it. Here's the grip weight and this is the rubber bead that's going to keep it in tension in the handle so it doesn't wiggle around. So you're going to go ahead and slide that down and it's going to take a good amount of pressure to seat it all the way flush at the bottom. I actually bought this piece off of eBay. It must have been from a guy selling a full size X5 and so I'm going to put it here in my, in my 320 carry. And so I thought I got it all the way down there, but you can see it did not. There's still that gap. And so you just need to keep on pushing until it's all the way down there. And uh, then you should be good to go with that. All right, up next is uh, the removal of it. Here's what I did. Needle nose pliers, I slipped off. Just a bummer because it marred up the surface of the grip weight. There goes my resale value. No, way, no worries, I'm just gonna keep it anyways. But anyways, solid grip. You should just be able to pull it right out like that. And so that's how you're gonna take it out. And uh, now just put your trigger control back in and everything should be good to go. I really like the extra half. It definitely feels the gun is heavier in my hands. Um, and I'm gonna hopefully like that. I'll probably give a range report on that, how I like it um, in the months to come. Well, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you found that useful. And as always, ride fast, shoot straight, and we'll see you next time. So comment below, what's been your experience with the grip weight? Is anyone else using it in a carry like I am? And how in the world did you get it out without marring it like me? Would love to know and share that information with the SIG community.